In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate shapes on inside of Adobe After Effects. This includes lines, circles, and squares. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you first just want to begin by creating a new shape. So to begin with, we'll go up to the pen tool, make sure the fill is set to no color, so none, press okay. Then we'll go over to the stroke and make sure the stroke is turned on. So press the word stroke and make sure there is a solid color there selected. Then we'll press okay. And then you can go over to stroke and you can increase the width of the stroke if you like. Now, once you're happy with that, we can just go ahead and draw out a line of your choice. I'm just going to start with the straight line just for ease. But once you've done that, once you've created your shape, you just want to go into the composition window down here. We'll go shape layer one, select the drop down arrow. Then we'll select the add button. So add, and there is a little triangle. Select that and we'll go trim paths. Now we'll go into that trim paths menu. And as you can see, we've got start, end and offset. So if we pull the start up, you can see it animates off. And then if we pull the end down to zero, it also animates the other way. So in this example, we'll start with it off screen. It will animate on, hold for a second, and then animate off the other way. So we'll pull the start up to 100%, and we'll create a brand new keyframe on start by selecting the toggle animation button. We'll move over one second, pull that down to zero. Then we'll move over one more second. We'll create a brand new keyframe on the end at 100%, move over one second, and pull this down to zero. So when we play this back, you can see animates on, holds, animates off. And of course, at the moment, that looked a little bit robotic and a little bit boring. There was no real character in that animation. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert these keyframes into easy ease keyframes. So we'll highlight to all of those, right click on one of them, keyframe assistant and easy ease. Now, when we play this back, you can see it looks a lot nicer than it did before. There's a bit more character there. So that is how you animate a line on and off. Now I'm going to show you how to do a specific shape. So we'll just go ahead and create a, let's go for a ellipse. We'll hold shift down on the keyboard to make sure this is a perfect circle. And there you go. Once you're happy with that, we'll just go back into the shape layer. We'll go add trim paths. So that's down here. And the same thing again, we'll go into that. We'll pull the start up to 100%, brand new keyframe on start move over, pull down to zero, move over a second, new keyframe on end, and then we'll move across one more second and pull the end down to zero. Now when we play this back, that looks great. And of course I didn't actually turn the layer off below, so we'll turn that off just so we can focus on the circle. And there you go. Now the great news is when you create a shape layer and animate it using trim paths, you can always go ahead and change the width or the color of this specific shape later on. So you just go up to the stroke button at the top and then to increase or decrease the width, you just grab that and slide that one way or another. So we'll make this a thick one like that. So 176, we'll select the white box and we'll change this to blue. And there you go. That is how you animate a line and a circle on inside of Adobe After Effects using the trim path setting. But if you wanted a different shape, so maybe a star, a triangle, a square, then you can either go in to this option up here and select rectangle tool, rounded rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygon tool, or star tool. Or if you want a specific shape, then you just go pen tool, draw out a shape that you like, and then just animate the trim paths over time to animate that specific shape. But there you go. That is how you animate shapes on inside of Adobe After Effects using trim paths. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.